Good morning, everyone. It is uh, Sammy here with another video for you to view this weekend. I recorded a video last night about multiple time frame analysis. It was done um, using mostly intraday time frames for day traders, but understanding how multiple time frames interact with each other um, to me is just as important for swing trading as it is for day trading. So I highly recommend you view last night's video. I dropped a link for it in the description of this video. But this morning, this morning's video is exclusively for swing and position traders. So day traders need not view. Though there's always something to learn. So feel free to tune in. I hope you're doing well this morning. Let's start out as we always do by looking at the market and then we'll go over the watch list and uh, and, uh, and share with you what I'll be watching for at least for Monday for potential swing ideas. The market had that nice run up. Uh, we I showed you the hourly chart last week how it was the moving average was curling that's the 20 period moving average pointing up and we really got a pop after the uh, the Fed uh, chairman speech. We got a pop uh, we still have a downtrend on the daily chart, but and let me take out my annotation tool. Uh, the recent, most recent rally here was really strong. I mean, that was a significant retracement. Uh, we have more room to go up to the 200. Uh, so that's what I'm anticipating. Uh, at the moment, there is kind of a line in the sand that we should not cross and it should be here. So that would be around 167.50. If we break under 167.50, that will not only trigger the sell setup on the data chart, but also uh, indicate or almost break the trend on the hourly chart. So that's what I'm looking at. At the moment, this is still in an uptrend. This is the hourly time frame. And the daily has a void above, a tradable void above to the 200 MA. So we still have room above. Uh, I would like to see the market, my preference, I'd like to see the market gap down on uh, on Monday, just under 167.50. That would be ideal. Uh, will, will it happen? And based on how we closed, no, I don't think so. We'll see. We'll see. But uh, uh, the idea is one must trade objectively and read the market as it is read the information that the market is, the message of the market as it is, not as we want it to be. So I I will do that. I will do that. Okay. Let's take a look at the watch list. Um, some long ideas for you to consider. AAOI. This stock has been, I mean, in a severe downtrend. Look at this collapse. And this is what happens to momentum moves is momentum stocks is they leave no support behind so once they top out once they top they just give it all back okay because momentum moves leave no support and so when the stock tops out it just collapses usually um, so now we have on the daily chart so this is not doesn't look good as a long-term play but on the daily chart the last gap down got bought on big volume, and we've been basing in a kind of a tight base uh, and getting maybe ready to start moving back up. So I like it long over the base with a stop under it right here. Entry would be here as a swing play only, not as a long-term trade. Uh, CHS was a very nice trade for me on that day, so that's a few days ago. Uh, as a day trade and now it's doing a one two and then if if we take it out on if we take out this bars high on Monday then a one two three entry long okay entry would be over the base stop under the bottom in tail all right on the CHS CLVS I'm already in it it triggered me in yesterday yesterday or the day before the day before on Thursday uh, it didn't really go didn't follow through uh, but uh, I like it as a swing long. To tell you the truth, I was already in it here as a one, two, three, four long, and then it trailed out right here for profit, but very little. So now I'm back in, and I'm hoping to to see it up to 25 or so. 
so if it gets up there it'll be nice i decided to put it on the list again today because it's setting up long again one more time uh, so i wanted to share it with you um your favorite stocks the pot stocks i'm kidding uh, but uh, just the crone and the nbev i think are the two two of the the largest four that look higher so and uh, crone uh, looks higher three green bars in a row so it's now going to be hard to enter for me so i'm going to watch for the next entry but it does look a little bit higher and then here's the nbev similar pattern let's take a look at the weekly okay it's a weekly buy setup so it's not bad how about the monthly the monthly is is a mess but uh, we have a rising 20 we have a little bit of support i like the daily and the weekly more uh, mohawk is exactly the same idea as the clvs this has a very nice shakeout bar or a breakdown here it is see the breakdown did it produce any follow through to the downside no it didn't we went back up so that's a shakeout or a breakdown failure and now i think it looks higher okay i like it as a long i like it very very much a mohawk uh, and vax i don't know what to say because i should already be in it i put an entry in the system at 188 over over this candle's high and then the next day it didn't trigger and in fact it took out the candles low since this was gonna be my stop i was gonna enter at 188 and put the stop at 179 we took it out i decided to cancel the trade and watch it the next day well i didn't watch it it popped i didn't watch it closely it popped and i didn't get it so this is i love this chart on the monthly i mean just look at the beauty there look at that buy setup gorgeous look at that moving average how it's curling starting to point up so it looks really really nice but i missed the entry so i'm trying to get figure out a way in it and there is kind of a one two three four pattern over 207 by 196. it's I, it's up there now it moved up a lot or one can do this one can enter up here and put the stop down here this way if it comes in you don't get stopped out and then it can add and reduce later on if it starts to recover and move back up so i like the nvax a lot on the larger time frames oh and dk i also like a lot on the monthly chart i'm already in it but half size only so i'm looking to add uh, o and DK transition A on the monthly and I just want to show you this WDR because it's the same idea transition A on the monthly so NVAX transition A but this looks the prettiest WDR transition A on the monthly and then O and DK transition A on the monthly um, I, I'm not in the NVAX I'm not in the WDR but I do have some uh, O and DK but only half half an hour half size so uh, I'd like to bring the position up to full size, maybe Monday, Tuesday. It's a little sloppy, so I'm using a, a wide stop. Uh, next one is PBYI. Uh, PBYI, I think, bottomed on this gap. I could be wrong, but I think it bottomed. Look at the monthly. It just fell apart from 136 to 23 and at major support. Moving average on the monthly is flat, slightly actually pointing up. So there's divergence. So I like it higher. It, this is similar to the LL on the monthly, uh, which I'm also stocking, but I don't think it's ready for Monday. Here it is. So similar chart, fell apart to major support. So if you wanna watch the LL also, I like, but I don't think it's ready for Monday. That's why it's not on the, this list, but I have it in a, in, my spread, in a spreadsheet where I track these ideas. And then I, I scan that sheet every night and I post the daily watch list for uh, the strategic swing trader members and then the plays as well. So LL I don't think is ready for Monday, but PBYI might be. Okay, over the base, stop under this most recent base. Don't, don't need to put it all the way down here. That would be safer, but I would just put it right here under the most recent base on the PBYI. V-cell, gotta be one of the strongest stocks in the country. I mean, this is just, a rocket look at that amazing uh, does it have room oh yeah it could see 30 bucks so really really strong this is a monthly chart let's take a look at the weekly very strong just extended and the daily looks like is uh, ready to take that roof off the building I and mean, ready to break out 
So I like it. I like it higher. VRSK, similar idea, not as much momentum, but it's more steady. So if you look at the weekly chart, that is pretty steady. Nice controlled uptrend. And the monthly too. Uh, but similar idea to the V-cell. My preference would be the V-cell because it has more momentum. WDR, I already went over on the on the monthly chart, on the daily. Obviously, the entry would be up here. Uh, over this candle's high, stop down here. So I like it. I'm planning on playing the WDR. Um, the CPRX, uh, the bearish list, uh, CPRX is a one, two, three after a bearish professional gap down a couple days ago. So this would be just a one, two, three play. Uh, EQT would be a sell setup with a nice sort of a rounding top forming on the hourly chart. I like them when the when the tops ha when the top when the rollover has more of an arch to it, like so. So this is a bit flat, right? I like it when it, it has that arch, um, but I still like this under the base with a stop above, okay? Uh, EQT. Uh, Fran was um, a tr day trade that day, it was nice. And now it's setting up for a breakdown. So I like it under the bottoming tail here. This is not a bottoming tail, but just under the green bars though. LB is a daily sell setup, very strong retracement, nice hourly though. If it breaks under the base, it should have some follow through. It is a very strong retracement. I, I, I normally stay away from these, but this could be just a one day hold only. So I like it. Salt uh, as a short based on the monthly looks good. The dailies rallied a little too much. It's now above the, the 20 MA on the daily chart, but here's the monthly. So I, I do like the salt as a short, but, um, and especially on the hourly chart. I mean, the hourly chart looks beautiful if it can break under the, the double bottom there and then a stop up here, okay? And now the daily is not ideal for sure, but um, but I like the monthly and I like the hourly. VNTR is, I was in this short and I got trailed out somewhere here, here, or there, but I was in it short from the breakdown. It looks lower. I mean, it looks like it's going to zero. You might wonder, a five dollar stock that's dropped from i don't know from 25 where you you know where am i expecting it to go uh, right you might be thinking where would it go i mean it's isn't it done no it's not it's five bucks it still has five dollars and 33 cents to go potentially i was just looking at this stock i don't know if i remember the symbol a k a o yeah a k a o uh, just look at this guys this was a 30 dollar stock if i recall correctly 28, 27 dollars. It's at one, uh, 160, and this was the hottest stock in the world at the time. And this wasn't very long ago. I mean, here it is. I just want to show you. Here, it, here this was the top. Uh, here somewhere. I mean, this was really the top. That's just last year, a year and a half ago, right? Uh, slightly more than a year and a half ago. And now it's at a dollar 60, and still looks lower, by the way. So I don't mind shorting a $5 stock. This looks good, short, but the hourly moving average is going through price. I want the moving average to be above price when I'm shorting. This is going through price. So that's why it's not on my watch list. But this is, this is, you know, I think this is better. Uh, moving average on the hourly is kind of the same problem. So I will not be shorting it on the first time, the first time triggers. Uh, I'll be doing the secondary entry on the VNTR, but I'm looking to get back in it. WBT is a sell setup with a nice rounding top on the hourly chart, so it would be under the, the base with a stop above. Okay? Like it a lot. It doesn't have high reward to risk, but it also but it does have high odds uh, that if it triggers, it will work. It just won't probably make a lot of money. Um, trading often gives us, uh, is a, we, we have to make compromises. Um, you know, you can go for the high odds trades or the high odds but low reward to risk or sometimes high reward to risk but low odds. Meaning if it works, you'll end up making a lot of money, but it's, it's not very likely, it's not, very, it's not a high probability trade, not very likely that it will work and vice versa. Sometimes if it, it's a high odds trade, meaning it should work if it triggers, but you're probably not going to make a lot of money. And this is the case for the WBT. All right, guys.
as always, a uh, pleasure to to do these videos for you. We do them as um, first to keep in touch with everybody, but also as a kind of a thank you to our members and community. And lastly, to uh, to basically share with you what we do and get you familiar with our methodology and hopefully impress you enough and um, um, and you know have you become a, a member so if you are interested in becoming in joining the strategic swing trader there is a link in the description uh, of the video check it out or reach out to me or anybody at t3 would be happy to help you have a wonderful weekend and I shall talk to you soon. Take care, everybody.